Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Women's uh, GAP webinar. Uh, my name is Jason Funderberg. I'm joined today by Executive Committee Member Noreen Moeller and Director of Development, Player Development, Taylor Hollander, as well as Mary O'Mackey, Director of Member Services, who's going to be perusing the questions section um, to help us filter through some of those. Just a reminder, today's webinar is going to be recorded and up on our website. We're going to show that uh, link at the end of the presentation here. And uh, we also encourage any questions that you guys have. Um, you can ask questions in the window pane of your GoToWebinar app. Um, feel free to fire those over to us. If we do not get to it in the webinar, uh, we'll be sure to follow up uh, directly to you uh, via email. Uh, now, at this time, I'm going to pass it over to Noreen Moeller, our executive committee member. Uh, Noreen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, yes, my name is Noreen Moeller, and I'm on the executive committee of uh, GAP. I'd also like to personally welcome all of you this afternoon. Our purpose today is to let women know that they are an important part of the Golf Association of Philadelphia and to describe the, or the opportunities and the benefits that are available to them. GAP has over 75,000 individual members and approximately 18% of those members are women. So the slide on the screen now shows the geographical reach of GAP. GAP's territory is all of Eastern Pennsylvania plus the Southern half of New Jersey and parts of Delaware. So as a female golfer, if you belong to a GAP member club and you have an established gin handicap with that club, then you are a member of GAP. Exclamation point. There are no additional fees for that membership. This fact has been misunderstood for many years. So in early 2018, GAP established a women's committee with the goal being to promote women's golf through improved communication and significantly increase women's programming in the coming years. As we go along with today's presentation, we will be showing you various informative graphics. And we, as Jason mentioned, we encourage questions and we'll try to answer those questions when it's appropriate during the session. So now guiding us through more of those graphics is Taylor Hollander. And Taylor has been on the uh, Women's Committee since its inception. And she is a staff member of GAP as the Player Development Director. So Taylor, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Thanks, Noreen. As Noreen mentioned, I'm Taylor Hollander. I'm the Player Development Director here at GAP, and I have been on staff since 2017. GAP added member play days to its tournament schedule in 2012, and these events were open to all golfers. Following the play days, GAP created women's divisions for the amateur net events in 2016. Then in 2017, women's divisions were added to senior net events. In 2018, Winter Series added a women's flight to increase participation in those events as well. In 2019, the Women's Committee added two new events to the GAP schedule, the Women's Spring Scramble and the Mixed Foursome Championship. This year, we were also happy to add a ladies division to the floor player team event. This graphic shows the increased participation by female GAP members over the past decade, with a significant increase since adding these multiple events and since the committee started. Do we have any questions so far? This Nothing as of yet in terms of formal questions from the audience. Um, just wanted to remind everyone, if you're having difficulty with audio going in and out, um, just be sure to try either logging in or out or um, unplugging your headphones and plugging them back in. Uh, we do have our first question um, from Alexis Bove. It is, uh, is WGAP entirely separate from GAP? Yes, GAP and WGAP are separate entities. Um, we reach all of Eastern PA, Jersey and Delaware, not only private but public facilities as well. Um, WGAP runs mostly women's, all their women's events in the WGAP team matches, and then we host our separate events.
uh, it's follow-up question to that is why do the women's team matches fall under WGAP instead of GAP? Which I think is a common question we get uh, from some of our female members. So WGAP started their team matches separately. Um, we have talked about on our committee level starting team matches for through GAP as well, just because of our geographical region and how many female members we do have. That being said, it is more complex than just starting an individual event. So while we're continuing to talk about it, it's not something that'll be happening in the immediate future. Uh, got a question here for uh, an, an additional one. Um, will women be allowed to play in men's events in 2020 since things are changing in the world? Um, we have not gone that far. Our thought process right now is adding the women's divisions to the events where we're able to fit those in. I'm sure that is something we will continue to talk about on the committee level and executive committee level at GAP um, mm -hmm. as times continue to change. Perfect. Well, uh, I think it, we're good to move on here. Please uh, feel free to submit those questions, guys. Uh, love to see them coming in. So not only, so GAP has many benefits. Not only do you get an active gym number to keep in handicap, you can play in our events as well. To register to play in GAP events, you will go to the Women's tab under the Play menu on the GAP website. Again, there's no additional fee to compete in events, just the registration fee. Another way you can register to play in events is by clicking on the GAP schedule under the competition menu. There's no additional membership fee. To play in events, you need to register through the Golf Genius portal. Before trying to enter, you have to create this account using the link in the image. Be sure you are clicking the black box saying click here to register and not just signing in using your GAP login information. If it is a team event and you are trying to register your entire team, all players must create an account prior to registration. To complete the account creation, you will need to know your GIN number. If you are unsure of what your GIN number is, you can get that information from your club or from the GAP staff. Once that is complete, you can select any open event for registration on the schedule page and click the register link. Any continuing questions so far? Uh, nothing as of yet, Taylor, but I, I do wanna add on that uh, last page uh, since I, I am actually handling most of those issues with Golf Genius. Um, just want to keep in mind, guys, if you do have trouble getting signed up or getting registered, you can always reach out to me. Um, some common questions we have um, <clears throat> is that, you know, on that last page, Taylor, if you might want to go back, you'll see uh, the arrow pointing to the click here to register button. Uh, it's common misconception as, you know, it prompts you for an email and password, but if you haven't created that account first, um, obviously you won't be able to log in. So just something I wanted to touch on. Um, as we have had quite a few people reach out in regards to that. Um, and looking here, uh, no questions as of yet. Um, oh, here we go, got one. Uh, I'm a new, if I'm a new golfer, how do I get a gin number and or establish a handicap? So if you go to the GAP website and on the upper right hand corner, you will see the join option. You will first create your GAP locker and then through there you will go and it will set up your USGA Gen Handicap and then you will pay the membership fee through that. And through there you can use the Gen app to post your scores as well as get all of the member benefits we are currently talking about. Perfect. And that's and that's strictly for our online handicap option. Um, you can always join a club uh, anywhere in the region that is a GAP member and you are automatically um, a member of GAP. Um, Got another question here. Um, I, I have a seven-year-old daughter who wants to play golf. How can she become more involved with GAP? So there are a few options. Um, I will first talk about Youth On Course. We partnered with Youth On Course in 2018. It is a junior membership where you can play at participating facilities around our region and around the country for $5 or less per round. And through that membership, you get a full GAP membership as well. So she will get access to our junior events. Um, we do have the pre-junior, which is a great small tournament where we do a small rules instructional part in the beginning, and then it's a six-hole tournament with the kids. Um, there are many other junior clinics in the area, as well as the first tee is a great resource for junior golf. 
and have a follow-up um, to that question about the establishing a handicap and uh, if that's an annual membership. So Taylor, can you touch on that? Yes, so there's an annual membership fee and your Jenny Handicap will become inactive a year from the date that you register, not at the end, not December 31st at the end of the year. And is that if uh, our members join a club or is that strictly if they sign up online? That's strictly online. Perfect, perfect. Well, uh, looks like we're through with the sec questions on this section. If you want to keep going, uh, we will uh, have another slide at the end there for questions. All right. So the next GAP benefit we're going to touch on are the subscriptions. To manage your subscriptions, you'll log into your GAP locker on the homepage of GAP. Under your GAP locker, you'll be able to update your contact information and manage your subscriptions. It's important to remember that this is a separate login from the event registration on the previous slides. Under your GAP locker, you'll be able to opt in for email updates as well as free subscriptions to Golf Digest and GAP Magazine. We also offer educational seminars. GAP annually hosts a women's rules seminar with guest speakers from the USGA or other key associations. The GAP webinar series has been a bright spot during the COVID-19 pandemic as we've had over 1,200 attendees at five webinars to educate golfers about the new World Handicap System. A seminar about the World Handicap System was scheduled for earlier this year, but was canceled along with the rules seminar due to the, the pandemic. We also offer, offer volunteer opportunities for our members. Opportunities include tournament volunteers and course readers. Volunteers will receive a GAP t-shirt and hat and an opportunity to purchase other associations apparel at discounted prices. In October, we honor our volunteers at the annual Volunteers Day outing. In 2017, Muffy McCabe of Philadelphia Country Club was the first female Twin Gaps Volunteer of the Year. We currently have 17 female tournament volunteers and 29 female course raiders. For, for, for more information, you could, can go to the link on your screen. Now we'll touch on Jaywood Platt. The Jaywood Platt Caddy Scholarship Trust is the official charitable arm of GAP. The trust mission, which has remained constant since, since its inception, is to financially aid deserving caddies in their pursuit of higher education. Since 1958, more than $22 million has been awarded to more than 3,500 caddies. In 2019, 130 Platt Scholars held from 38 GAP member clubs and attended 57 colleges and universities. More than $1.18 million in scholarships was awarded with an average grant of $8,800. 37 scholars successfully completed their degrees and joined the Jaywood Platt alumni community. If you have more questions about Jaywood Platt, you can contact Director of Development, Lindsay Myers at the following email address. As we mentioned earlier, GAP has done many webinars during the COVID-19 pandemic. You can find the pre-recorded webinars at the link on the screen. We also have future presentations on handicap committee roles and responsibilities on Wednesday, and then slope rating will be explained on Thursday. Any questions before we wrap up the webinar today? Sorry about that, Taylor. Finger got stuck on the uh, the mute button. Uh, yeah, I got a couple questions here. Um, first, I want to address this question uh, about uh, offering any kind of webinar to replace the rules seminar that was canceled. Um, that was asked by Kelly Vesey. Uh, Kelly, we are um, currently planning more, lots more webinars. Um, they've been a great success. We've had awesome participation, great questions from everyone. Um, so we're currently in the process of planning more webinars and more uh, rules specific webinars. So definitely keep an eye on the website and, and that, that webpage in specific, uh, gapgolf.org slash gap dash webinars, um, as we'll be announcing those more and more uh, in the coming weeks. Um, another question here, Taylor, for you. Uh, does GAP offer any husband and wife playing opportunities? We have mixed opportunities. I wouldn't say we name them husband and wife, but there are, mm. like our mixed foursome event is a great opportunity that we saw many couples play in last fall. So right. they're not legal that, but they, mixed opportunities are available. Right, right. Yeah, and even, even mother-son, um, I believe our champions last year in the mixed foursome were a mom and son. 
Um, so that was really great to see. Uh, Taylor, I got a got a personal question for you. What do you enjoy most about being involved with the Gap? Um, youth on course, obviously. I got excited talking about that earlier. I love helping golf grow in our region. I've loved reaching out to the junior groups as well as expanding our women's touch. Um, starting the women's committee has been a highlight just watching our numbers and participation numbers grow so quickly throughout the last two years has been great growing up as a female golfer in this region. It's really nice to see the continued growth. And uh, Taylor, for, for people who may not belong to a private club, where can people um, find resources to bring youth on course to maybe their local public uh, course? Feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is on the website. Um, happy to talk about it. I have a ton of information to give out to anyone who is interested. Perfect. Perfect. And Taylor, uh, could you actually touch on uh, golf and schools a little bit? I, I know you you enjoy um, working working with that program. Yeah, so we partnered with the Philadelphia Section PGA to offer the golf and schools program. We wrote a curriculum with some physical education teachers to teach golf. It's mainly focused towards elementary school, so third through fifth grade is our target audience. We use the snag golf equipment that is enlarged to help them make sure they're making contact to keep to make sure they don't get put down by not being able to make solid contact. Uh, we have 37 schools that have participated and we also we part, we have PJ ambassadors that will go and help the gym teachers teach the courses. And we also, there's no, we pay for everything. So we it's a fully funded program by GAP in the section. Perfect. Um, so I, I do know Mario just let me know that I believe he wanted to come in here and, and make a comment or, or two. Yeah, Jason, real quick, and I just wanted to reinforce something that we were touching on earlier. If you uh, are speaking to someone who's a uh, new golfer or someone who doesn't have a gym number, there are a couple different ways, like Taylor said. If, if they're new and they're not a member of a club, the online method that Taylor described is perfect. Go onto our website and uh, click in that join button you can find there and pay. But again, like Noreen mentioned earlier, I just wanted to stress that if you are a member of a club and you have an active gym number at that club, then you're a member of GAP. And the other thing is there, if you are a member of a club and don't have a gym number, go to your pro shop. If you want to get involved, if you want to be a member and you want to get into the handicap system, tell your pro shop they can add you to the gym system. So anyone who's not active now and not a member, that's the easiest way to do it if you are a member at a club right now. It's just go talk to your golf professional staff and make sure they get you activated within the system. All right, great, Mara. Thank you uh, for that information. I know it uh, can get a little confusion, confusing sometimes about, you know, WGAP, GAP, am I a member, am I not a member? But uh, just remember, if you are a member of a GAP member club, you are a member of the GAP. Um, as long as you have that gin handicap, you can play in any of our tournaments um, that we offer, which can all be found on our website as well. Uh, got, a, got a quick question here about uh, whether we plan on having events and, and what kind of uh, system we have in place and whether we're going to hold any. Um, Taylor, I know you and I were talking about this earlier. Um, we're we're, we're reevaluating this on a day by day basis. Um, and obviously, with everything that's going on, it's hard to you know make announcements and judgments weeks ahead of time. I, I don't know if you had anything to, to add to that. No, we're taking a day by day basis um, and looking at the guidelines given by the governor as well as other national organizations, making sure that everyone's comfortable when we get back to competition level and making sure we're as safe as possible. And just a reminder, folks, that uh, if you do want to sign up for a GAP event, um, we are not actually charging anyone right now because of everything that's going on. What we're doing is setting everyone as a pending registration. And once each event is confirmed, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, and charge those um, once once we're confirmed with everything to go forward. So uh, no harm, no foul in terms of signing up for for now. And and if it does get canceled, obviously um, we will let everyone know. All right. So it looks like the uh, questions are slowing down here. Um, does any of our panelists have any comments before we uh, sign off? Nope. All right. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining us today. Again, please be sure to ch look out for future webinars. I know we have one tomorrow um, when, uh, on Wednesday 
about handicap committee roles, as you see on your screen as well, slope rating explained on Thursday. Um, we will be announcing more in the coming days and weeks. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, please feel free to reach out to us directly. Everyone on GAP staff has their contact info listed on the About tab in the website. Um, and uh, again, thanks everyone for joining us today.